Okay, my outstanding friends, we're going to get back into P Pistis Sophia very shortly. But before we do that, I want to talk about this pyramid thing they're talking about, seeing these shafts coming down from the pyramid, saying that they're power plants or something like that. Well, I'm going to show you something. These are not power plants in my estimation. I would like to see a lot more information. You see the different colors? They, they claim these are voids. I can accept that. And these are compacted areas or whatever. And these different colors mean different, different composition of materials or at least different densities. Now, let me show you what I believe these are because I, would, I can give them a test to find out if I'm wrong or am I. I'm not just making a claim without having any evidence. I can show you another spot on the earth that will have these same characteristics because it is the same as the pyramids. Okay, we got the pyramids right down here. That is the tail of the dragon, and as far as I'm considered, this is where it poops into the ocean. This is the digestive system, all the way back, all the way back, all the way back, all the way back, to wherever it starts from, I don't know. But I say this is the digestive system, and this is where there's some kind of absorption going on in here. You see that? That's some kind of absorption or whatnot. And these are the two different abrupt transitions between, I believe, the dark used blood and the new blood. But one, whatever, it doesn't matter. This is all digestive system of some gigantic creature. And when you come down and look at it very closely, which I have, you can, it's, it's impossible to miss what this is. Now, can I prove what I'm saying? They're, they're looking down here and seeing these cavities. I'm saying those are probably like vertebra in the tail because you've got a, a large, smaller, and a smaller pyramids. Now, if they came over here and did the same thing to Typhon's tail, I bet they'd find the same thing because as far as I'm concerned, Typhon runs right from here, which is his head, And this is his throat, runs all the way down, all the way down to his tummy. And these are scales. Now these are not like the pyramid scales, they're just scales on the throat of a dragon. And every one of them has like a little hinge between them, you see? A hinge, a hinge, a hinge, a hinge. That way there, he can move his head around like this. Otherwise, if it was all one big ridge, he couldn't move. So they, that's the hinges in his dragon scale throat. And this is called the dra, which means dragon river, and it runs all the way down, 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 and then it goes up through his guts and everything and runs up, up in this area. This is his body. Now, if they took their ground penetrating radar and came up to these scales, which are more similar to the ones that are in, um, in uh, the Great Pyramid and so forth, and they did, they would see in between here, it's going to be cavities. These are like, there's, there's some kind of biology that's going to feed these. These are not just pieces of rock laying here. This was biology. And in between, there's going to be those little, you know, voids, basically. The whole thing's the same thing all the way down. Now these are substantially bigger than the pyramids, but the pyramids will have those same little cuts in them, just like I showed you. Right here, the, 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 the scale will be up at the top, and they're like this here, I got one around here. Like that. And in between, there's gonna be a cut going down and this would be laying on something serious. This has blood in it. You see that? That's blood. Now, that's where it exits or enters. I'm not sure. And this is the other spot where it exits or enters. So it comes in here and comes out there. And if you look at the pyramids, you'll find that they have that exact same entrance. It goes down like this, way down inside, and then back up towards the pinnacle and has all the same little stripes in it and all that. This is a, some kind of a dragon scale. I don't know from what, how big, you know, it's pretty good size. 
people have told me that they have some kind of little lizards or something, and they have basically the same thing. They find these scales every now and then, and they, they have the exact same little tab. That's what I'm told. Now, I don't know that for a fact. But what we're looking at here is biology. These are not a power station. In my mind, I could be wrong, but I don't think so. They're showing these, you know, this is some, I mean, this is, this, I got to be honest with you, it's silly when they come up with these kind of ideas right away. Oh, yeah, it's a, and it's all over into that. Oh, yeah, yeah, we figured it out, we figured it out. No, you didn't. These things were, were covered up nicely with something to make them look really fancy, but they started out as dragon scales. And I show all of the, well, let me just show you real quick. All right, these are some real old maps looking things. They're showing these as like tree trunks and then put the pyramids on top of the tree trunks. They didn't realize they weren't tree trunks, they were dragon scales. And this right here looks like some kind of a grand canal that would have been a, a blood vessel basically feeding these. And that's the Nile River. Now, here's some more on the uh, pyramids. Here's, the, here's what I was talking about here. All right, you take this. There's the blood coming in right here. That goes down and ends up coming out here. Just like this goes down and ends up coming down into the subterranean chamber. Then from there, it goes up into the upper area of the pyramid, which is up here. So we've got blood, and, I, and there's no question whatsoever, it's blood. And it goes down and it comes out here, just like that. So I think this is also a, a scale. Now, of course, underneath that, you're going to have some kind of a structural thing, like a, you know, a, a bone or whatever coming down here, which attaches to that so that it, the whole thing can sort of move around. When it was alive, when it's dead, it's just a straight down, you know, uh, like a vertebra in your body, something the bone is going to hold onto that particular scale. Now this right here, I believe, was an artery at one time, and it was going to cave in. You see how it's moving this way? They put these arches in here to, to buttress it up. Now, there could have been a little spot right there, or even like that right there. That is a, that's an, a vein. Now, that, I think, would have been an artery, but it could have been a vein. And about that spot would have been big enough to make that little spot. That's very, very tiny compared to the size of the pyramid. And that is also a very small spot compared to this. So I'm seeing this as, as dragon scales. And if they go to Morocco, all right, and they go and they do the same thing with their uh, special little radar and see if there's cuts between it. It's gonna, I know there's going to be. You'd have to be silly not to understand that. These are like flexible joints. They have to be cuts. This is just no other way. It's just that over in Egypt, they they modeled them to make them look nice and make fancy, and you know, and that's what you end up with is pyramids. All right. So one last look. This is not, you know, this is somebody's artist rendition, and they, this is, I, I go along with that. I'm okay with the ground penetrating radar, but you have to understand what you're looking at. And they're just making these things up. So I'm going to leave it at that, but now we're going to get back into the Gnostics. And again, this is not what they claim it to be, I don't think. But again, if they want to just prove me wrong and go over to... Um, Typhon and check that out and see is there spots between the things and there will be I'm, I'm absolutely certain on it now we're going to be going back into Pistis and this is uh, this is serious as it can get my friends I was going to do both things at the same time but I'm just going to leave this one about the pyramids and then we're going to get back into Pistis Sophia and there is just a ton of these a ton of these all right, so we're going to be going through it. It, it. This is all about the Nag Hammadi text. We just happen to be doing Pista Sophia now, but there's all kinds of different books in there. I, I believe there's 50, 50 different 
books written by all different authors within the Gnostic text, and one of them is the Gospel of Thomas, which is all the secret sayings of Jesus. There's 114 of them, and they're quite disturbing, a lot of them. And some of them prove exactly what I've been saying about the earth being a corpse, the world, I mean, I'm sorry, the world, meaning whether it's the people of the world or the actual body of the world itself is a corpse. It doesn't matter, they're both true. And it also talks about when you find the earth, you find the body. And it also says we are light. We come from the light. We are from the place where the light was admitted all by itself. The only place I know of like that in this neighborhood is the sun. And it emits all those particles and everything grows from those particles. All plants require light to grow, heat, at least heat. And that's why they're way down in the ocean, these uh, hot vents, they're be being powered by heat. It's more than just, it's just it's electrons being forced into the things that are growing there. They can live down there fine because it's got the heat. Sunlight is heat, it's atomic vapor. Everything grows and only grows from atomic vapor. That's the only, only possibility. If you don't have the light, you have no, you have nothing, zero. Nothing exists that did not come from light. That's my claim. Now, we're going to be getting into the Gnostic text, and it's deep. And I'm starting to think I'm getting a handle on this a little bit. It's so deep that people throw their hands up and they just walk away. And I did too, because I had no clue when I first looked into this years ago. And, um, and it was just gobbledygook then. Now it's a little less gobbledygook. It's, it's still a lot of gook. But uh, we'll find out. Like I said, I'm going to drag you through the mud with me. If you want to go with me, come on down. If not, well, I say sup to you. All right, so I'm going to leave it for this for now. And again, the, the pyramids, this is nonsense, the, the things that they make up. They're going to look for some more funding so they can send out a whole bunch of more people out there and walk around in circles. <laughs> I'm serious. This is what's going on. You know, why don't they look at the stuff I've been presenting? I got stuff that blows everything out of the water, 100% out of the water, new kinds of species. Just like our feet, only they're, they don't have any toes in them. They have a tibia, big bone coming down. They have a fibula that sits on the side. They have springs inside of them instead of bones. I have all kinds of stuff that, you know, gigantic two-inch big hair follicle. I have DNA tested cat skin, gigantic fingertips and fingerprints and everything. And uh, because it's too spectacular and it brings God into the picture, academia runs and hide. And I mean hide and run. And I'm, I'm talking they can't run any faster they've been running. And they can't hide any hider than they've been hiding. There is no place left for them to hide now. So I'm sorry, they've just been misleading us since day one. And Jesus said he came to lift the veil, and the veil has been lifted. And he's picked up his light vesture because he's accomplished his task. So stick with me. I love you all. Roger, over and out.